So welcome. Uh, well, I guess I should say, is everybody here from Presque Isle? Or are you guys summer folks? Fudgies! That's what we call ya. No, that's all good. That's all good. So um, when I go to places in Michigan and I lift up my hand like this, what do people usually tell me what that is? The lower peninsula. I just went to Chicago the other day and they said it's a hand. Because they're not Michiganders. It's Michigan. But anyway, so I came here to do a summer reading program for you guys. And looking at me, what do you think I am? Especially the children. Tell me. What do you think I am? How did you know? Ah. Paint on my pants. That gave it away, huh? Yeah, you gave it away too fast. Oh, I guess. So, okay, so I'm an artist, but I do a special kind of art. Has anybody ever heard of a speed But what painting? is speed painting? Do you guys have an idea? Can you give me a guess? Painting? Fast. Painting fast. That was a pretty good guess. No, no scribbles. Just fast. So I'm going to paint a painting for you at the end of this program in about six minutes. Cool, eh? So I'm going to tell you the story about the Lorax, but the way that it was written in the book. It's a little bit different than the movie. Are you ready? Yeah. Oh, the Lorax. Bless you. That was not part of the story. But I'm going to have to speak slowly because I'm starting to lose my voice. Can you all hear me? Okay, here goes the Lorax by Dr. Theodore Geisel Seuss. <laughs> Dr. Seuss. At the far end of town, where the grickle grass grows, and the wind smells slow and sour when it blows, and no birds ever sing, excepting some crows, is the street of the lifted Lorax. And deep in the grickle grass, some people say, if you look far enough, you can still see today just as far as you could before someone lifted the Lorax away. It's kind of weird, isn't it? What was the Lorax? And why was it there? And why was it lifted and taken somewhere from the far end of town where the grickle grass grows? The Wansler still lives there. Ask him. He knows. But you won't see the Wansler. Don't knock on his door. He stays in his lurking on top of his store. He lurks in his lurking high under the roof. And he makes his own clothes out of miff muffered muff through that old snurgly hose. And he sounds like he's got smallish bees up his nose. And he says, no, I'll tell you how the Lorax was lifted away. It all started way back, such a long, long time back. So here I paint some grass. You said blue and yellow. Okay, goes yellow. Oh, mix it in, I say here. So, but those trees, those trees, those truffula trees, all my life I've been searching for trees such as these. I felt a great leaping of joy in my heart. And I made a decision. I unloaded my car. He stayed. And in no time at all, I built a small shop. And I chopped down one truffula tree with one chop. 
and with great skillful skill and with great speedy speed, I took the soft tuft and I knitted a sneeze.